All right, next question. Could you give us some background on your anime past? Um, oh, I guess the next part also ties into it. When did you start watching and why? Maybe a broad overview of what you watch, what genres, or preferred studio or style. Um, I actually have a fun post on my blog, uh, about how I got into anime. Uh, I can give a short summary right now, uh, so you don't have to go read it. Basically, um, back in the day, I was one of those people who watched, uh, when I was little, I watched anime shows without realizing they were anime, you know, stuff like, you know, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, like, I didn't realize they were anime, I just thought they were cartoons, um, going by my, again, my definition of what is an anime, um, so I didn't realize what they were, I just thought they were, you know, standard cartoons, because, you know, Cartoon Network, you know, so it was like, oh, it, it's more cartoons, so I didn't really care, um, I think the first anime I, j I, I watched that I knew was an anime was Naruto, uh, when it started on Toonami, um, and I liked it at first, you know, I was like, what, 10, 11, maybe a little older than that, and it was pretty cool, I mean, it had ninjas, it was some cool shit, um, but then it kept going and going and going for so many episodes, and it got to the point, and I was, uh, old enough, I think it was by the time I was in junior high, uh, I was tired of it, I was like, holy shit, this is never gonna end, so, I, I just kind of got tired of it, and constantly dragging itself out, and I just kind of dropped it, and I was like, yeah, anime's fucking stupid. Uh, and I entered that phase, and that everyone enters their phase by the time they're in high school, where basically, anime is dumb. Um, and I went through that, and I was in that mindset for uh, a couple of years. Uh, I believe it was either sophomore or junior year of high school when one of my friends, when uh, an old friend from elementary school, I hadn't been friends with him for a while. I was back in elementary school, but then we just kind of uh, grew a little distant. We had different friend uh, friends that we you know hung out with, and we didn't really talk a whole lot. But then we had a class together in uh, sophomore junior year, and uh, we got to know each other again. We we uh, talked and we we're friends again, and he was into anime. And so, uh, at that point, I was, I was, ex you know, me being accepting of opinions, I was like, oh, oh, well, that's cool, I guess, and that kind of transitioned me from blatantly hating anime to just, you know, accepting it, like, being understanding, like, oh, you know, people like anime, I guess that's cool, not really my thing, um, <laughs> but then one day, uh, it was that fateful, fateful day, um, me being a high school boy <laughs> at home, I wanted some material. So I decided to try and find some hentai. And what I ended up finding was the first episode of a show called To Love Rue. And I watched the entire thing, and I didn't get what I was looking for. And I was just like, what the hell? Um, the site I had ended up on, which was an anime site that had random shows, uh, had the second episode too, so I looked at that again. So, I mean, I went to the second episode, and I was like, okay, maybe this will actually have something. You know, why the hell is there, like, so much plot going on? And so, well, so much plot compared to, you know, porn. Um, so I watched the second episode, and again, nothing happened. So at that point, I was just like, wow, this is, like, the worst hentai ever. <laughs> so I sent the link to my, anime, my my friend that I had become friends with again in in uh, sophomore junior year, and I was like, lol, this is the worst hentai ever. I, I think that's literally the message I sent on AIM. And, so, and he messaged me back, and he was like, that's not even a hentai, dude, that's, that's a random anime show. And I was just like, wait, you mean there's anime other than Naruto? <laughs> you mean there, there's shows other than Shonen? So I didn't realize that there was different genres. What I was, uh, and generally this is how most people who don't like anime is, they don't understand that anime itself is not really a genre. It ha it's, it's, I'm not sure how to define it. Uh, it. It's an entertainment medium with its own genres, rather than being a genre in and of itself. So once I realized that, then I was able to look at some more shows that are different kinds of genres in them, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool, there's lots of different genres to choose from, it's all pretty neat. And then that's how I ended up getting an anime. Well, as I was doing that, I found Shakugan no Shanna, and then that's when I became addicted. And I was like, holy shit, this is some pretty cool stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's how I ended up getting into it. Um, and that's also how when I started watching and why. Uh, as for the broad overview of what I watch, uh, I don't really have any preferences. 
generally when each season starts, there's a chart that comes up with all the shows that are going to start airing. And I will look at the uh, synopsis, synopsis, synopses. I don't even know what the plural form is, but a uh, synopsis. I don't fucking know. Anyways, uh, I look at those for each show and I decide just based on those what I'm going to watch. Sometimes I make exceptions um, and I'll go back to a show afterwards. If other people I know are watching something and they're like, oh, this is pretty cool. Then I'll, uh, I'll go to it myself uh, after probably a few episodes have already aired and see if I like it or not. Uh, but otherwise, I'll, that's just how I pick. I don't really have any preferences. Um, generally, what I'll do is I'll, I'll take even shows that I have a mild interest in. Because often, more, more often times than not, the shows that I like the most in the seasons are ones that I just mildly had an interest in. The ones that I have, you know, bigger expectations for usually either just meet them or they don't meet them. So it's actually... Um, it kind of fits in with, you know, not having very many, very much expectation wise, and then it, you know, exceeding that. So I guess as far as perspective goes, maybe it's not the best show of the season, but to me it was because I wasn't expecting much from it, whereas the others I was expecting, you know, much from it. Kind of like uh, Magi, although I would argue that that is a genuinely good show. I went in not expecting much, and I was like, damn, this directing is actually really, really good. Um, so there's that. Uh, again, I don't have a preferred studio or style. I like that Shaft is experimental with what they do, but generally, I don't like a lot of Shaft shows. Like, uh, I mean, obviously, I like Madoka. Who, who the fuck doesn't like Madoka other than, like, three people? Um, okay, that's not, I shouldn't say that. There's more people than that, but, uh, uh, generally, other shows that Shaft have done, I haven't liked. Like, Pretty much every other show they've done, I've just gotten bored after, like, three episodes, and I'm like, wow, this is really boring. But I respect that they're experimental with how they, uh, how they animate, so I have the respect for that. I think, if anything, um, if, if there's any studio I'm biased towards, even though they haven't been doing the greatest shows lately, it's Silverlink, which, ironically, was founded by people who were from Shaft, um... Because they have the same kind of, you know, playing around with, cult, with um, well, I guess while Shaft is experimental with their animation, almost like LSD drug style, Silverlink is more of an experiment with animation as far as colors. Like, they like to use a lot of colors, and they have, like, uh, it, it's very eye candy-ish, uh, the way they do stuff, which is neat. Um, I, I, I just inherently like them because I watched uh, Baka to Test, and I thought it was funny. Uh, so I like that. And then the way they did the animation for a lot of the scenes was, was really neat. So that's why I like them. But now they've been doing not very great shows lately. They're okay, but you know, they're nothing near as good as the stuff that they used to be doing. Um, but yeah, that's that. Uh, how long have I been talking to myself? <laughs> wow. This is already 20 minutes long. This is gonna be the longest Q&A session ever. <laughs> Um, I guess you guys get to hear a lot of me rambling, though, and get to know the man behind the videos. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> All my rambling may be like that one person disliked the Q&A questions video, though. <laughs> that gave me a good laugh when I saw that. Um, sorry if my rambling's annoying you. This is just kind of how I am naturally. This, this is me naturally without my script. This is just how I am. Sorry, or not sorry, I guess. I don't know. Uh, next question, though. Uh, where the hell am I? Oh. What was the worst anime you think you've seen? Ooh, this is gonna be a little controversial, because I know quite a few people like this show. I think the show that I hated the most was Gantz, which is a very interesting pick, because almost no one says that the show they've hated the most is Gantz. I think I'm, like, the only person. And so, obviously, there are quite a few... Gantz actually has a decent fan base. Um, and so obviously the thing that they're saying right now is, what the hell are you thinking? Why do you not like this show? Why do you hate it more than anything? And that's because I didn't like anyone in that show. There was not a single character that I liked. They were all irritated me. And when the cast is nothing but people that irritate me, I get bored and also sometimes pretty angry. So... I, I had to put up with, what, 20-plus episodes of a bunch of characters that I didn't like. <laughs> so that's why I didn't like it. Um, to be fair, another show that I also think is the worst thing I've ever watched was the infamous Endless 8 from Haruhi. Um, that was possibly... But but as far as... 
Gantz is something I don't like as far as, like, something just generally being a show that I don't like. Like, it didn't do anything special that, that you know, made me hate it. Well, I mean, it did do something special that made me hate it, but it wasn't trying to do that. Uh, whereas Endless 8 was trying to make me pissed off, and it succeeded tremendously. Um, so, yeah, that the, the Endless 8 was one of the most offensive things I've ever seen. So, so I guess my answer is that the worst anime I've ever seen, as far as uh, my opinion, is Gantz. But the most offensive anime I've ever seen was Endless 8's uh, her he second season. I know everyone says, oh, but the episodes after that were good. No, Endless 8 killed Haruhi for me. I don't like Haruhi anymore just because of Endless 8. Like, it takes real talent to ruin a series with a story arc. But they managed to do it. So, I'm sorry, I don't like Haruhi anymore. Not that I really liked to begin with. I was just neutral towards Haruhi. But, uh, now I'm just kind of, you know, I don't really like it anymore. Anyways. Uh, how do you feel about cosplay? Um, there's not really much to say. I'm okay with cosplay. Like, <laughs> like I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I love cosplay. It's the coolest shit ever. You know, like, uh, I, if anything, I respect the people who make outfits. Like, that shit is crazy. Because I've dressed up before. I've done cosplay. I believe I did it twice. Maybe three times? Two or three times I've done it. Um... But I never made my own costumes. I got, I, I bought them online. Um, but the people who make their own costumes not only look like 20 times better than my store-bought ones, but the amount of work they put into it is just like, holy crap. Like, it's just insane the amount of work people put into this stuff. Like, the, I imagine these guys had, like, no free time. Because I know a lot of people that spend, like, their entire year making these costumes for conventions. And I just have nothing but respect for how much work and dedication they put into it. There are people who think that that's, like, weird or, you know, kind of, like, like creepy or just a waste of time to do something like that. No, I have dedication. If you, if you do something, if you found something you like doing and you spend that much time doing it, you know, it, with, like, hard work. Like, it's, it's not even something like, uh, what's, what's a comparison? Like... Uh, I can't think of a direct example right the second, but there were a lot of, like, lazy hobbies, I guess you could say, that, that people like, like, what about watching TV, I guess you could say is technically a hobby, you know, and, and you know, I have more respect for people who, who put so much hard work and blood and sweat into making these outfits than people who just sit there watching TV, um, like, it's just as much like people would say, like, if someone looked at someone who, like, read books non-stop, you know, like that, like, they would have nothing but respect for them, like, oh, man, you read so much, you know, all that jazz. But, you know, people who put so much, you know, blood and sweat in making these outfits, and it's all of a sudden not really, like, the same thing. Like, it's, oh, that's kind of creepy, or you're wasting so much time doing something so stupid, you know, like, th that's so hypocritical. Like, like if, if, you, if you enjoy doing something, and you spend that much time doing it and putting that much work into it, I have nothing but respect for you. Like, seriously, like, I wish I could do that. Like, at most, my best hobby is watching anime and playing video games. You know, like, and that's what I spend most of my time doing. Not that it should be as respected as something like that, because that's a lot, it's a lot more work to, you know, make the outfits, but, you know. <laughs> so, I guess my how I feel about cosplay is I have a lot of respect for the people who make those outfits. It's insane shit. Um, next question. What was the first anime you saw? I kind of answered that. Um, the first anime that I saw that I knew was an anime was Naruto. But probably the first one that I watched without realizing it was an anime was probably Pokemon. Pokemon's the shit. It, not, not even was the shit, it still is the shit. Except this recent season hasn't been written very well. <laughs> like, like, it was going fine... And then they got to the league, the the issue league, and it was like, wow, where the fuck did the good writing go? <laughs> like, like the writer went on vacation or something, and his lackey kind of picked up the slack, and it was like, it really showed. It was like, wow, this is really bad. Um, but yeah, Pokemon's awesome. <laughs>